Today I want to talk to us, just remind us about the mercy and grace of God. I want us to just spend some time in Psalm 107. The main thing that's coming out of this Psalm is understanding of the mercy of God, of His loving kindness, of His goodness. And what does it tell us in verse 1? It says, His mercy endures forever. That means the mercies of God, the loving kindness of God, the goodness of God never runs out. Having understood that this Psalm is about the mercies of God, uh, what is very interesting is that in this psalm, the psalmist brings out four life situations, or I would just use the word predicaments, uh, that uh, God's people found themselves in. Uh, and uh, then he talks about how the mercies of God intervened in those predicaments. The first one is he's talking about the wilderness. You know, what, what about the wilderness? The wilderness is a place where we are deprived of the very necessities of life. You know, he talks about the fact that they were in, in a wilderness and uh, they had no place to dwell. They were hungry, they were thirsty, and they were about to faint. Meaning, they were in such a situation where the very necessities, the things that they needed, the basic things, they didn't have. Uh, and, and that's the wilderness situation. Now, it is very interesting here. It says, they wandered into this. Meaning, uh, you know, it's, it's like they kind of drifted away and they found themselves there. It was not that they planned to go there. Uh, they just went, you know, they were wandering. They kind of drifted away into that place. And here they find themselves in the wilderness. So what do they do? They cry out to God in their distress. They cry out to God in their predicament. And then what does God do? It says, he delivered them out of of their distresses. The second predicament, I will just use the word darkness, right? So here, the people find themselves in a very dark place. Now, how did they get there? It says in verse 11, it says, they rebelled against the words of God. You know, sometimes we people are rebellious. Right? We do things we know we're not supposed to be doing. So it says here, they rebelled against the words of God. They despised the counsel of the Most High. Where did it take them? Verse 10 says, they landed up in a place that was dark, uh, uh, that was like the shadow of death. And it says, they found themselves prisoners in affliction and iron. But how good God is. It says there in verse 13, when they cried out to the Lord in the trouble, it says he saved them out of their distresses. Now I want you to know that no matter how dark your situation is, and no matter even if you recognize I was a rebel, I went into this, I want you to know the mercies of God endures forever. Today, in your darkest pit, with confidence, we can tell you God is good. The third predicament, I will just use the word sickness. Now, uh, the psalm is telling us that uh, people, they were foolish, and because of their sin, they found themselves in a place where they were sick. They couldn't even eat, they were so sick. Uh, they were on their deathbed, that's in verse 18. But in that moment, in that affliction, they cried out to God, and what does he do? He saves them out of the distresses. Verse 20 says, he sent his word and healed them. God sent his word and healed them. And once again, it says, give thanks to God for his goodness, for his mercies, for his wonderful work. The fourth one, the fourth predicament has to do in the area of business. And I'm just using the word business. Uh, you may use any other word, but it talks about people who are merchants and they're on the ships and they're out on the seas about their, going about their business. As these merchants are out on the great waters and the seas, they just, that's their normal thing. That's what they do. But suddenly they face these storms that are huge and uh, uh, they're, they're shaken to and fro. And then it tells us there in verse 27, they are at their wit's end, meaning they don't know what to do. And so what do they do? It says, verse 28, they cry out to the Lord 
in their trouble and he brings them out of their distress. He calms the storm and then he brings them to their desired haven and he brings them to their final destination. God will calm your storm. He will still the waves and he will guide you to your desired haven, to your place of blessing, to your place of well-being. God will do that.